Hello and welcome everyone to my next game review. I just want to start by saying thank you all so much for clicking on my video and letting me give you my personal opinion on this amazing MOBA Paragon, uh, which I truly believe is the ultimate MOBA experience and will become a major contender against Dota and League of Legends, the current behemoth games that are essentially taking over this entire genre of gaming fun. Now, Paragon will be releasing out of beta soon, but uh, I'm not going into this blind, like I said. Uh, I have played Dota, Smite, LOL, and Heroes of the Storm. League of Legends and Dota weren't my thing, top down, that kind of stuff, but Smite and Heroes of the Storm, yeah, didn't really click. But Paragon, I have now been playing for about six months, and only Paragon has kept me coming back for more. Now, according to the other game reviewers, uh, in the early days, it did actually have quite a bit of a toxic community to begin with, but with the recent update of Monolith and the changes, and overall, the people that have sort of, they all the toxic people have left, there's very, very few people left. It's only filled with the great players that stream and make videos of the game, as well as also the tawny players and just the general gaming sort of community. And all they want to do is play the game, get better at the game, and learn the game, and just have fun with it. That's what the games are about. That's what they should always be about. The other stuff is just something that happens afterwards if you somehow get great or not, or you want to make videos or not. That's essentially what it should be. Now, Paragon has three different game modes at the moment. There may be some more to come, but at the moment there's player versus player, there is co-op versus AI, and there is solo. Now, I have not played solo at all, but I do understand how it works. Apparently, it's just uh, one yourself, your one normal player, uh, with four AI teammates against an entire team of five AI teammates. Co-op versus AI is essentially a group of five players against a five-player team of AI, but it differs in skill rating depending on the people on the actual team, with more a star rating of one to five. PvP, player versus player, five players versus five players. Oh, dude, the, I, I'm only playing PvP now, mainly because the PvE standpoint is too easy. Much, much too easy. Even if the entire four people on the other team, on my, on my team on, on PvE, they're all complete noobs. Because I've played PvP and I understand the game better, I know how to play the game better, I can just kill 20 plus, no trouble at all. I wish I could do that in PvP, but at the moment I'm sticking around between 5 and 10-ish, uh, depending on the game's weight, but there we go. Now, recommendations for the starting players. If you're going to start playing Paragon, you need to start with PvE. Uh, don't, don't worry about solo that much, I mean, it's something you just sort of play around with yourself, just to sort of uh, learn a new deck or try out a new deck, that kind of thing. But PvE is great. Five players. Five real players against five AIs. It is a lot more fun, it's easy, and you get to learn the game. But because you will slowly get better, you will start to get ranked with other people that are better or similar skill level, in which case then the AIs will start leveling with you and go up the star ranking as well. In which case the game will become easier or harder depending on how well or bad you do. In which case you'll slowly balance out, you'll learn the game, you'll get better at the game and you'll slowly increase again. In which case that's the best way to do it. It's a great learning curve, it's not going to chuck you in the deep end. It's all about understanding you as a player and giving you the best experience. But once you start looking into the game's uh, sort of different aspects like cards and deck building um, as well as also the different heroes and the customizations loads of loot crates and chests to open along the way uh, reputation coins to get buy more get uh, buy more um uh, crates, chests, and uh, cards, uh, as well as also, there is also customizations like banners and skins now, different variations of how your player looks, all that kind of stuff is great for these kind of games, and I'm sure, 100%, there'll be more to come, there can't be, there can't not be anything else to put in the game, it's still in beta, there's still loads more ideas, there's still more things going on the forums, loads of people want more than new stuff, as well as also balancing going through, in which case the game will overall get better and better and better, and more balanced and more sort of not level like that sounds kind of silly but sort of different aspects of the game that allow you to either better with one character that wouldn't normally be better than another one because of the way either you play it or you build your deck or you essentially just play the game better overall in which case you're giving yourself more of a challenge going against someone that's meant to be a counter in which case you're actually extremely good at that character but you can't essentially <laughs> 
<coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um, the vault is essentially a new thing that I've seen uh, that has come into the game to essentially get the best legendaries type stuff. Now, the vault is essentially uh, a weekly challenge and a monthly challenge where you have four weeks in the month, you have to get to the diamond chest level, which is, I believe it's going for about 30 points, something like that, 30, 60 points, but essentially it's, it's you have to rank all the way up each each week you can't miss a week which is a bit bit of a thing but as i say you've got to play to get the actual vault coin at the end which will give you a chance to get one of the five legendary great looking items in the vault which you can get each month and it's a great addition the chests are a new addition lucrate's always been there but i'm from what since i've been here but the chests are a great addition i'm glad they're doing this kind of stuff because before getting all the materials getting all the re reputation all the all the sort of metal and uh, matrix all the stuff to build your cards it was just so damn hard all you could do is just deconstruct your cards but now with the addition of chests and stuff like that it is so much easier but now deck building and the general gameplay um essentially it is difficult to grasp early on because there are no in-game easy tutorials of how to learn the game or what to do. You essentially play the game, the game in the beginning gives you default decks which automatically enable you and try and get you to understand how to make a deck or, or how to put a deck into you, into your into your hands and you essentially play with the different options of, of the cards that you choose. But it doesn't actually give you only real information about how to do that how to play it, what are the sort of limitations of the cards, um, all this kind of stuff, all the all the gameplay like wards, the, the shadow area, the jungle, all, all that kind of stuff. It's giving you very basic information. It's not giving you the actual specific information that you need to well, play the game from the beginning or understand the game's mechanics early on. Uh, it's just something you have to grind through until you find the people on YouTube. Um, which have actually made loads of videos and tutorials about how to play the game better, understand the game faster, and get better a lot, lot quicker than you would on your own. So definitely look on YouTube, look for the people that have been on there months and over a year that have made all these videos for you, and you can understand the game so much better than you can uh, than just figuring it out yourself. But the best thing I love about MOBAs is essentially they're all free to play. Free to play games can be pay to win, but Paragon is definitely not one of them. Essentially, you all start from the same level. You all have to level each game up to your maximum to get your final build, which you've built inside your deck, in which case you have to essentially have the same consistent, enduring skill each game to get level quicker, get your deck sort of built up to the final build quicker, as well as also get all those last kills and all the minions and kill all the players to get the most credit or gold so well, it's not really gold it's, it's, it's credit don't worry i'm getting mixed up with all the other games i've been playing never mind but anyway um you essentially <laughs> the, the each each game moba game do make a massive player base in which case uh, they collectively can make their money by tournaments as well as also in-game purchases now you can get in-game purchases which build up your sort of you get a can boost your xp and your rep but it does not sort of um, change your, your in-game experience. You can build your deck, you can build your rank, and you can essentially get cards quicker, but you still have to understand and play the game and essentially get the game's sort of mechanics to understand and play the best. And the only way you can do that is with time, learning, and skill. There's no other way. So you can't buy it and just get good at it. You have to actually understand it and play the game and learn the game. Um, but. You don't have to pen, spend any kind of money, you don't have to spend any, not one penny to become the top players. You can just play and get through it, and in which case you then have to understand where can I find out if I am the top player? Where can I find out further information? Where can I go at the moment, right this second, to get help and ideas and decks? Uh, best place to go that I found is Agora. Now, agora.gg, that is a website, uh, agora.gg, link in the description, don't worry, um, gives you uh, the player rankings, not just for yourself, but every player in the game. It also gives you top leaderboards, and it gives you loads of information. But the best thing I found that I just pushed through the low silver ranks was 
the decks. Essentially, players can put their own decks that they make into Agora. You can scroll through all the different decks, you can scroll the ones that are the highest voted, and you can, by one click, add it straight into the game. You've got to click, 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 click yourself inside the game. You just click it and it adds it in. But you do have to have all the game cards in your in-game account before it'll link it through. Otherwise, it won't work. So it will tell you which cards are missing. Don't worry, it does tell you that. In which case, you could make them in-game and click. But otherwise, you need to sort of get grind through in a way get all the cards, click it in, and you're done. You've got the card there. It's a really, really good way of doing it. I'm really happy that Agora is there, in which case it does make the game experience better, and in some cases, easier, in which case you can get the best decks out there and tweak it yourself as you go, because your game style will be different to the players that made it, in which case you can improve your gameplay and your deck better as you go. Now, leaderboards is essentially bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. Whether or not that will change, who knows, but I doubt it. Um, essentially, it just gives you a load of information on the people, in which case you can try and uh, figure out how people play better, make better, uh, make better decks, that kind of thing. But it is essentially just a website that allows you further information, but you can never get anything better than directly from people that are playing the game very well. Those places, Twitch, YouTube, and communities. Now, communities, I've found the best places are on Discord, Discord community, so just Google away, Paragon community, find out some people, and once you're in there, talk to them, play games, set up some sort of queue up with them, and you'll learn so much from people that have been playing the game a lot longer than you. Uh, even if they haven't been playing, if they're sort of MOBA veterans, they'll grasp new MOBAs a lot faster than you. Because most MOBAs, they're all about lanes, they're all about wards, all about customization, um, how to actually um, sort of understand the game mechanics because some people are really nerdy and get into it, in which case they understand it like, way better than you, but other than that, just get into a community, look at the videos, watch streams, and you'll learn a load more. Now, overall, the game itself. Um, it is a strategic game. It is player versus player, and it is a bit of an uphill, uphill struggle to begin with because you are new and you're probably getting in there without any possible, well, like me, with very little experience. But there is a certain finesse to the game's mechanics, and it does allow you to edge slightly further or slightly faster than your opponent if you can play the game a little bit better, get that more credit card XP. Um, or XP in general to level your, car, your your player in the game faster, but you have to understand safe laning, you have to understand mid laning, off laning, and the jungle if you want to try and figure out which way where, where you play best. Um, and the only way you can do that is play with loads of more people, loads of games, and understand it. Now it does take great with reflexes, patience, and skill. Patience is a big one. Um, you're you're not going to win every single time. You're going to lose a lot to begin with, especially in PvP. As soon as you go into PvP, unless you've got four amazing players on your, your team, you're not going to win straight away. Even though they are usually balanced out very nicely, it's a very good matchmaking, it's still not how it's going to work because you're new and it's possible that maybe not all the other players are new. They're most likely veterans or at least been playing for a good few months compared to yourselves. But as long as you give it a little bit of time, and understand the game, learn the game, you will definitely get there. That's what it's all about. Now, um, the actual community itself, at the moment, is great. There's a lot of people in game that help, there's a lot of people that came that actually try and talk to you, and uh, they actually take the team play quite seriously, but not to a degree that is annoying, and just completely shout at you. It's all about a team effort trying to win. That's what it's all about, and that's why I never got from games like Dota and League of Legends, at least in the games that I played anyway. Granted, I may go and play them again at once at some point if a major update happens or if I find a few friends that are playing it. Uh, but at the moment, Paragon is where I'm gonna be. I did try Dota recently, but nah, it's still the same. So that'll be staying out there. I might try a lot again, but for now, the developers at Epic, Epic Games Thank you so much for playing uh, and making a, an amazing MOBA. Uh, Paragon is definitely the place I'm going to be. I can't wait to see what else you're going to bring to the table, whether or not there'll be new features soon or in sort of the fairly distant future. But I cannot wait. I'm looking forward for uh, it to be taking on the amazing 
Um, sort of games like League of Legends and Dota, they've been around for ages and it's very difficult for any kind of game to try and make a dent. I mean, Smite and Heroes of the Storm have tried, but Dota and League of Legends, they are just in a class of their own and that is where I think Paragon will get to if it is given the chance. So, thank you all so much for watching. <sighs> it feels good, it feels good. Um, <laughs> Don't forget to comment guys. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if you're playing. Let me know if you're not playing. Whether or not you did play and you stopped. Why did you stop? Um, what's your best win? Let me know. What's your in-game name? Let's, let's queue up sometimes and just hit me down in the comment section and I'll definitely, definitely answer you as soon as I can. Uh, big thumbs up as well. Uh, if you if you did like the video, it definitely, definitely makes me feel like I've done something good. But if I haven't, big thumbs down and let me know in the comment section what i could have done to improve this video it's only meant to be my opinion and my insight in the current stages of me playing the game but whether or not i left something out let me know and we'll get it added into the description so people can actually understand it or it'll be pinned at the top of the comment section so people understand it and get to that information right there but other than that subscribe to the channel it is definitely something you need to be doing especially when you listen to more reviews and watch more time lessons and get in on some of the streams we're now doing on saturdays that's right streams and videos now it is all about streams and the videos uh, but thank you once again for everyone to watch my video like my video and keep coming back to enjoy them uh, but other than that i will definitely see you all in the next video Thank you again for watching and I'll catch you in game or in the next stream. Take care guys.